Battle. Battle. Welcome everybody. I hope y'all are. Welcome all. I am on the hunt for a few collectibles here. See if I can make a little bit of money. Come on, let go of... Stop it. This is like the third time I've tried to climb this ladder. And my, come on, we could do it. Get, go. Oh, hey, we found something. All right. So I have found, it looks like, uh, what? I had 29 grand when I started this. We found three. There is four. Okay. But we do get one heck of a view up here. I think we can see the corn maze, which is very nice. You can't really see the exit, but now, wait a second here. You see that little blue thing over there? That, I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe not, but it looks like there could be something there. This is pretty cool. And let's see, throw it. Uh-oh. <laughs> they don't need those anyway so i hope everyone's having themselves a good day get me out of here Ugh. run we've been kind of going at good clip oh and that is they threw it on the fire what the heck we'll take it somebody well maybe we will maybe we won't there we go all right so we've got oh let's turn that down that is there we go that's a better speed i've just been running through the countryside that's why it's on so fast we need money we need to we need to grow that is for sure here let's scroll back over i guess we should probably start with getting this guy rocking this is our newest field oh that was that was a tad bit loud in my ears we're planting wheat here and we put in all of the grapes that we could put in what we could afford i think we could probably do one more now but it's like okay do we want to use all of our money and now that we've got crops in the ground to the left of it i don't think that's a very good idea so this is i'm not sure how much money we're going to make on the first harvest of grapes but as we progress i think it is definitely going to pay off in spades we have, what did we have here? I think we had sorghum in this one. Yeah, I think that's what this is. Does it tell us? No, it does not. It says yield bonus 97, 96. Not bad at all. Here, let's pull this up. And we are here. So 44 and 47 are one gross state away from harvesting. Our grass field is ready to rock. And then we have 45 and 46. They are both nothing exciting. Barley. But that is really all for the flour mill. And what I am thinking about doing, and I am thinking about buying field 50. I mean, and you say, how can you do that with only, what, 32, 33 grand? Well, I think, I think we need to grow. And here's my thinking. I went on to, I think it's Hoop Peru. Is how you say that, the uh, European map. Now, I went on there and just messing around just to see what it was and to get uh, moving and shaking in that one to grow was so much easier than here at Elm Creek. And I would have thought, to be honest, I thought Elm Creek, the American map with the big square fields was going to be fairly easy and quick to progress. And I can't sit still in real life and I can't sit still in a video game either. I just got to be wandering around doing nothing. But this map is so much slower to progress than Hoop Beru. Let's open this. See where we're at. So we've got 1,500 liters. Now we do have each one of these, I think, is 500 liters. Yeah, so we have 2,000 liters out here. 
maybe three if you put these together yeah about that so we got about three four thousand liters so we can sell some cabbage make a little bit of money you know, lettuce it's not cabbage why i keep wanting to call it cabbage i don't know but i want to progress i want to i want to be using some better equipment and the only way we can do that is by getting bigger so if we bought field 50 that is definitely going to help us out i mean we are going to have two decent sized fields where we can make some money i think it is wheat in there now which is not bad our flour mill is going to be working overtime which I am hoping is going to pay off. So, uh, I guess let's, let's do it. I suppose. Now, wait a second. Before I do that, I'm thinking I was looking at a contract in here for field 68 and it is also wheat. And I'm not really doing it for the money. I am doing it for the extra crop. Because we can, again, we can dump that in our flour mill and that is just going to be more money in our pocket. So let's, let's borrow. Do we need to borrow the items in this? How big is field 68? Really the trailer is what I would be borrowing. That looks a little odd. Anyway, uh, 68, 71, six. Oh, that's, that is a big boy for sure. Yeah, that is that is a big field and where where does it go so if we go here it goes to the johnson uh farmer's market okay i think we should do it and do i want to borrow the stuff i mean probably has a bigger header and bigger trailer i think we should but we'll borrow items good to go and i think on our own farm the only thing we're going to need to do is harvest or fertilize field 41 right that was our newest is it 41 it is i even got the number right wait and we we are gonna have to wait for them to get done anyway so let's go ahead go here and i want okay i want out please let me out so i think we'll get a worker go in here that is a a dark red i didn't remember case being such a deep red it looks good that is a nice looking uh machine there the guy inside maybe not so pretty but <laughs> the machine itself not bad at all back this pig up i do like the color what did i miss Wait, what? Can you not pull the header with this? That's... Okay, wait. There we go, my goodness, that is way up there. All right, this is really loud for me. I Hopefully it is not that loud for you. No, I didn't want that. Well, it's too late. Let's go here. And let's set a destination and we want field 68. Where are they gonna go? Oh, that'll be fine. We'll put them right here at the bottom. Uh, Yeah, let's have them facing now. Position is blocked. Okay, we will set destination. About there. There, okay, that will work. Out of here. We'll, we will go ahead, we'll grab the, isn't this a fast track? It is, it is, we'll grab this, grab the trailer, and then get our butt over there as well. Now, most of this is going to be done by the worker. That's kind of the way I like to do contracts. I mean, I'll, we'll do the carding and stuff, but uh, we'll let them do all the real work. Well, that was pretty good. That was a good show. I think the helpers got an issue. <laughs> I guess maybe we should come down here and see if we can bail them out here. <laughs> but, and the good news was, is that's, that's not me. They're just, they just keep on trying. Okay. Get me in there. I think you should go away. What did you do? Can we get, 
Oh. Ugh. Glad it's rented equipment. That's all. That's all I gotta say. Glad it's rented. Drop this thing right. Well, let's get it out of the way. Well, that is not gonna be out of the way. No. Where? Oh, where? Now, is this a header trailer? No, the whole thing folds up. Okay, so we will be fine. I thought it was a trailer itself. Just trying to get out of here before traffic comes in. Uh-oh. I haven't been inside a vehicle yet. It, it's uh, my, my machine doesn't like it so much. Fold it all up. Very nice. This is a big boy. I like it. Unfold this thing. And, uh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now, what I will do is I'm going to do a little alt zero. And then that will let us pick up the pace, I hope. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I want that. I'm sorry. I just smacked my mic. But I want this. Let's enable straw swath because can't we pick up? I think I, ha uh, I, you know, I don't know. I think I have the mod for picking up straw on contracts. I can't remember to be honest with you. I can't remember if that's out on FS 22 or not. I feel like I've already done it. But I would not swear to that for sure. We got a pretty big tank on here. Let's uh, put that on a worker. You know what I think I'll do? I don't think I will put that on a worker. I'm going to take it right back over. Let's drop it down. Let's run a quick speedy. What we'll do is we'll do the headlands around here. That should make for a decent speedy. Not too long, not too short. This is a pretty darn big field. My goodness, it got us about 70% just going up the thing one time. We are going to be running pretty hard trying to keep up with this guy, which is okay. I don't mind that a bit. That just means hopefully more product for us. But now the trick is, is what do we want to do with the product until we get the field harvested? because I don't want to turn the product in until the entire field is harvested. You end up, you just end up with more extra crop that way. We don't have enough storage in our silo. That is for sure. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, we are at the wrong end for our pipe. Let's, let's raise this up. I'm going to go start this guy down at the other end only because we will never make it all the way down there before it's uh, before it's full that's what i was thinking i was thinking it not saying it. <laughs> but now we could dump it into the train storage we don't have to sell it at the train yard oops sorry sign but we could store it there 
I am not sure where the train station is in correlation with where our cell point is going to be, but we can check that out pretty quick. All right, so let's do that. You're not going anywhere, right? Okay, good deal. And we are down here. Train station, we have one here. Don't we have one down at the other end as well? We do. So, okay. And where was, we were selling at the farmer's market or something like that. Johnson's, I think. I know that's, oh, that is wheat. Huh. Okay, so let's tag that and let's see where the heck that is. Probably nowhere close. That would be too easy. Where is it? Come on, the blinky light. Where? Ah, there we go. Okay, so it is way up here. That is nowhere near the train station, really. But I guess it's not bad. We could, so we're down here. Train station's here. That would work. We'll come right up to the train station. We'll drop off all of, drop off, drop off all of our wheat right there. They will hold it until the field is done. And then we can just take it. Uh, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, so let's do that. That guy is rocking and rolling. We have at least one more uh, full harvester full to fit in this trailer. This is a beast. I like this trailer. Things got to hold, what is it? About, what, 40, 52, something like that. Somewhere in the 50s, it looks like. Okay, so they are doing their thing. Let's check on our other worker right here. And they are out of product. Okay, so no problem. I'll start that up. This guy is itty bitty. It does not hold much for seed, but it hasn't been any issue for us, really. I mean, our fields have been so small that this thing does just fine. But now we are getting into the bigger fields which means we are definitely gonna need to get a new cedar at some point in time. This guy has sufficed so far, but it's, I think we're starting to outgrow it. Which that is a good problem to have. Finally, finally we're getting there. There we go and think done. Full 600 liters, but that should finish the field. I would love to start thinking about maybe some animals. I guess I should probably do chickens before I do anything too crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is one tough car. My God, he just knocked me for a loop. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Don't get in their way here. Come here. Come on. I know you can do it. Let's go. Man. Oh, man. Tough crowd. Tough crowd indeed. Ah, beauty. Okay. Get back in. No, it's not letting me. Maybe this side. No, it's not letting me. Okay. How about if we tab? And there we go. We're in. That's going to get annoying after a while, but <laughs> we will live. So let's get this guy rolling. Then I think I'm going to have to run over and empty out the harvester once again. And then somewhere between the empty and the harvester and this guy finished, we should be able to jump over here and get the fertilizing knocked out. Now I uh, had mentioned the real speed limiter here and we can do alt zero. I did not have it installed. Now we have it installed. So now we should be able to go at a little bit better clip. Let's see if I do alt zero here, there we go. That's better. That is so much better. I mean, we're going to be full, but uh... I was trying to stop them before they got too crazy. And then I don't know if you miss crop or anything. I don't know how it registers. I was using a forage harvester. And when I was messing around and uh, not here on uh, the. Oh, I, I lost it. I'm trying to remember the name of it. The European map, we will just call it. 
<laughs> and uh, the forge harvester was filling up so quick that it couldn't register it so it would be full and still keep on going and i think i just lost crop when it did that which is not cool you don't want to lose crop that's losing money obviously come on empty out that is the problem when you have a harvester that holds so much is it takes takes a little while for it to unload if we could keep up we could do it on the move but I don't think that's gonna happen. It's definitely not gonna happen now. This thing should be rocking and rolling at a pretty good clip. Spin it, baby. Go, go, go. I do really like the red on this. That's uh, that's pretty good looking. That down. Go. Okay. There we go. Oh, look at that. I pretty good timing. A little bit of a pile, but there we are. So I'm gonna let those guys, uh, these guys, this guy, this girl, who is it? Okay, this guy, keep on keeping on. And we will just uh, keep unloading. We're gonna have to run over to the train station pretty quick. How are you doing? So I'm just gonna bounce back and forth between these two guys, making sure they're doing what they need to do. And we'll touch base here in just a few. Now, I am not sure how much the train station can hold, but I, I don't think that we're gonna overfill it. So we should we should be all right uh oh my goodness we didn't even make it here he's already at 80 percent get in here okay that should that oh i i from down here i couldn't see i'm like is there no hole in the other end oh there we hey it's there stop it so this is a pretty nice little uh bonus that you have this extra storage. It doesn't cost you anything to store here. And I know it holds considerable. I just, I don't know how much. And I think it holds pretty much everything. I don't think it would hold like cotton. And I don't know if it would hold silage and things like that, but I think most of the crops it holds where is oh good look at that whoa my goodness you a little overzealous there you fast track and they even uh, ended with the pipe on the right side don't look at those tire marks i didn't drive in the field i didn't okay maybe i did so what i'm thinking about doing here is leave this guy to there let's go here here they are almost done but not quite I was gonna go ahead and get a fertilizer, fill this thing up with fertilizer. We can do that. But I want to, I wanna get a worker started in our grass field. I wanna get a mowing. Uh, we are going to need, you know, probably not much more. We'll come back if we need more, but that way I don't end up with any extra pallets if I don't need them. Okay, so drop that. We do not have a mower, right? Right, I say? It does not look like we have them. Okay. What do we got on sale? Nothing that we could really use. I mean, that would be nice, but I do not have an extra $81,000 laying around. And what is that? That's a, a three meter cultivator. Spader. Uh, okay. <laughs> spader not cultivator but it's a spader whatever i <laughs> i'm not sure what the difference is there's 12 different implements that will actually prep your fields for sowing but where's a mower uh okay there's our mowers so if we went something like that what's this what is that that is oh two oh no if we went here and we went here, I mean, I would really, we're gonna have to borrow these things all the time. 
So if we lease, that's a $1,200 to borrow it every single time. Uh, do I want to buy it? Oh, that's so hard. It just spends all of our money. But it's still, these two are still cheaper than now. And so where are we at? We'd be at like 34. Okay, so let's, let's do that. Let's go back. And I am, I could sell a couple of things and we will for sure. But we're going to borrow a little bit of money right now. Let's just go there. That's okay. I already knew going into this episode that we were going to be in debt by the time we got done. But I think it's for the greater good. So let's take this and we're going to buy it. Yes. Okay. Then we're going to buy it. Yes. Okay. Here we go. So you, let's take you and set a waypoint for here. Going that way, and that should be beautiful. Now we probably need to jump over. Yep, there we are. See, this is the way I like to play farm sim. Just go. You don't have to. There's always something that's waiting to be done. The idle time of trying to figure out, oh, what can I do? Is there anything to do? That drives me nuts. I would rather be elbows and assholes than, than anything else. That's when it's, I think the game is at its most fun. And you can't really do that without the workers, I don't think. So we're going to be using a few more of those. I think it's uh, some changes on the farm are coming. So we'll get this filled up, and then I think they should be really close to getting that uh, field 41 planted. There shouldn't be much left. Oh, and there we are. Where's he going? What are you doing, man? Huh? I'm talking to you. What are you doing? They don't know. I'm curious as to where they're going. <laughs> the field looks. Oh, I see. Look, that. Are they really going to get that one little spot? And they are. That's impressive. Okay, I take back all the bad things I was thinking about you. <laughs> and, and we are done. Let's pull it up. Take a look. Make sure you get that off of there. And that looks like a wheat field to me. So we need to spread fertilizer on here. And if we're thinking about buying field 50, how does it look for fertilizer? It can use another coat. Now I was holding off a little bit to see how much money we needed to borrow. But what I think would be a better idea is if we just borrow whatever we need. Oh, rolling, that rolling. Eventually I'll get there, but not right now. Uh, but instead of doing that, why don't we borrow it now? And then whatever money we have, we can repay some. So I guess, I don't even know how much we can borrow. But we're going to, let's make it even 270. Sounds good to me. That sounds, be paying that off forever. Buy it. Now look at the size of our farm now. We are getting somewhere. We're not quite to feel like 70 and 68 and 69 snicker snicker, but we are really close to it. Not really, probably not even remotely close to it as I think about it. So I'm going to run over and get the mowers hooked going. I actually will grab the fertilizer spreader, but then our workers should be sitting at the store for it. So I'll have them head back over to our grass field while we come over here and spread a little fertilizer. Now, I was just wondering something, and you're probably wondering why am I sitting in our wheat? I, because I'm lazy and I really didn't want to have to back the harvester all the way out. But uh, I had talked about picking up the straw and I think we're able to do so, but I am not 100%, but that is something we need to do before the contract is finished or they won't allow us to do it. So are we going to bail it? Oh, I do not know. We need to be thinking about that. I got to ponder on that for a little bit. You go, man, go. 
and okay so we have this guy here they are back get up there let's go let's go and we probably need to run i think at least one headland around here i want to start up at the top of the field i think that's going to be the best way to go oh no i didn't want to lower that thing okay should be just fine bum, 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 bum. Okay. get all lined up here and i think one trip around should probably do it maybe we need to okay are you down we'll turn that on down turn you on and look at it the first time mowing with our own mower ah oh, that feels so nice I know we're in debt up to our eyeballs, but <laughs> so I guess is it really ours or is it the banks? I think maybe it's the banks, but it definitely it takes money to make money. I think I think I should have done this a long time ago. I hate to borrow money because then you're paying interest and stuff on it, but I don't know. It would take so long to progress. To be honest, it's already taken longer than I want it to go to progress. So it was it was time for a change. Hopefully it all pays off in the end. I think that should do it i mean really all i needed to do was really not this end so much it was that end down there with the curve that's what i was concerned with but we should be fine here so let's go ahead and give it to the worker and oh okay they have to get exactly where they need to be perfect okay so we should probably jump back over here because i was sure that they would be sitting there waiting on us come on i gotta say this trailer is about all the jcb really wants to handle there's a lot of weight for this guy i don't know what the horsepower is for it but i think we've uh, reached about his limit I try not to drive too much in the wheat, but you know, sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. So, all right, now we need what? This one? Oh, turn the engine off. I couldn't even hear. I turned the volume down so the engine wasn't so loud in my ears. And then I couldn't even hear whether it was running or not. Let's get uh, 41 and is that 40? No, that's 50, isn't it? Yeah, we just bought 50. Now I'm gonna see if this will actually get all of our grapes as well. Go, come on. I can't tell. Uh, it doesn't look like it's getting them all. Can I scoot over a little bit? That looks pretty good. I better not mess up or I'll be wrecking for sure. There we go. This shouldn't, this shouldn't take long at all. We should be whipping through this guy pretty darn quick. Let's get to the end of this guy and then see uh, exactly how good or bad I did. 
you couldn't see anything on the field so it's crap shoot as far as if i got everything or not oh let's go up one and oh look at that i was so close that's not right. that's not bad i mean i i kind of expected a little worse fire that up that should do it perfect all right so with this go wait go here let's set destination can we get that guy to go oh we probably can't get him let's try we're gonna put it right here and go there are they gonna go well they're trying so we'll get from that these guys stopped all right so workers are not perfect as i am sure you know they can actually be a tad bit aggravating and we will come back and we'll clean up what we have to clean up this is what i was heading for Ooh, last strike very nice so we will get all of it in this uh, trailer full. And then we need to figure out what we're going to do with the straw. I mean, a field this big, I'm thinking bail, really. I think that's going to be the only way to go is bail. And now, did I keep the bailer? Did I rent the bailer? Lord, I have mercy. I can't keep up. Uh, rent it. So we have bail wrapper, bail transporter, no bailer. Okay. Bailer, there we are. And this is the coon is the one I usually use. It just seems to work. It does everything we need it to do. Now that one, oh, that only does 125. I think for this size, we want the bigger bales. So we will lease. We better get at least three grand out of it. <laughs> Let's hope that we can actually uh, use it on the field. I haven't checked it, so I'm hoping that we can. You get done. Now I have a little bit of cleanup to do. So let's just park this guy here. Okay, you can go away. And we have just a few spots where because it was going so fast, it, it couldn't stop in time when it got emptied or full. Oof. Get it? All right. And I think there's only like two or three of these. Yeah, I think that's it right there. We'll take a quick look, but I think this should do it. I was trying to keep the straw swaths right where they need to be. That yeah, like I planned it. Well, I was figuring before I start another job, I should finish these. I knew I missed that little bit. So let's get that. Then we can chalk this one off the list. Okay, so let's take a quick gander and see how we're doing. So 41 is good. Everything is good. Looks like they mowed. Looks, they pretty much got it all. At least the fertilizer is showing. So, all right. So that's good. Let's jump into there. And I want to do a quick ride around the perimeter. Make sure they got everything. But it looked good. I think I think we're good. This is the area that I was concerned with as far as them getting in and getting out. So I you know, I mean that's at least a good thing to know. If you do a couple of headlands, they pretty much get the entire field after that. And I already know they windrow it up pretty nice. We have to find a home for our mower. Oh. What I do think I'm going to do as soon as this field over here i think it's is it 44 right there it is 44 i have to look and cheat on my map there but that's going to be the last time that field is harvested 
or plant it. It is going to turn into, I think we're gonna put a shed there of some kind. Drop that. Because we have to have more storage. If we're gonna be buying more equipment, which we are gonna need, we're already overloaded. Drop that, perfect. Okay, so that's good. We need to run down to the store and grab our baler. But I'm thinking we can get rid of Field 44. We can get ourselves a dish, decent, a decent, <laughs> a decent shed that can hold some stuff. I've got an idea of what I want, whether they have it, I don't know. I mean, we can't do it right now. I don't want to buy it with borrowed money. I'll wait until we start bringing in a little bit. But uh, yeah, definitely that's the end of Field 44 as far as actually growing crops. So the big question is, can we pick up straw or not? Lower it down, turn it on. Well, it's not screaming at me for being on. That is, that is something? Sweet. We can. I mean, that's good. And I, oh, dang it. I meant to, hold on. Oh, all right. Oh, my mic again. My goodness. Uh, I want to change my bale size. We are going to go big. Now we will have one small bale, which will be this guy here. When you change it, it doesn't change. Oh, I forgot. Oh, back up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It doesn't uh, change the bale that you're currently doing. I think I stopped in mid-sentence. <laughs> Uh, because I cannot do two things at one time. So I think we will turn on automatic drop. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. If you're paying attention. It's good. And we are off and running. Now, I have no idea how many bales we are going to get out of this guy. But it should be considerable. And straw's probably not selling for more than like $150 per thousand liters, I would think. That sounds about right. I mean, you don't get rich off of straw, but we are gonna have so much here that we should still make a pretty good chunk of change between what you get paid for the contract, the straw, and the extra crop. I think we are gonna come, oh, see, that is why, ugh. It's not very good to have auto drop on. I don't pay attention. But I think between all of those, all of the factors that are gonna give us cash, we should come out smelling like a rose. Maybe we can even put a little bit of money back on the loan so we don't have quite as much interest to pay. But with that, let's go ahead. Let's just uh, see if we can pound this out fairly quickly.
Well, I most certainly hope we make a few dollars off of this because this has is a big dang field. And there's a lot of bales out there. I still got a little cleanup to do. I got the headland on the top and the bottom to take care of. And there were some uh, spots where the straw swath was too wide or I was not a very good driver like that. And I need to go through and clean them up. But other than that, we are really almost done with this thing. Now, I want to see what is what is straw going for? I don't know if I want to see this. I guess uh, 154. I mean, it's dropping, but it's still at 154. That's above what I thought it was. Anything above 150, I think, is pretty darn good for straw. And we have a lot of liters of straw. We're sitting at 96%. I am really hoping that I can scrounge up enough straw to get this bale finished. But 3% uh, of... Jeez, Louise, is that like 10,000 liters? That's, uh, that's a big bale. Oh, 98. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Out of the way. I'm pretty sure I was sloppy enough. I am like 26 liters away from having a veil here. And ooh, a little bit there. And I think uh, nine, eight liters. Is that what? Oh, come on. This should do it. This should do it. 100% sweet. And I think we can shut that guy off. Okay. Now, what should we do? Should we pick up bales? Or I think we should sell the crop from the harvest. I think that's going to be the best bet. Shut that off. And we go here. Now, I started to come over here to dump this in. And then I'm like, why? Why would I do that? Why would I dump that in there? We're just going to have to pull it back out. And go here. Now, can I wait, 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 come on. There it is. Okay. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Give me my crop. That would be, that would be a bummer. I would be truly bummed if I couldn't get it back out of there. Nope. You can only put it in the train. That, that would not be good. Okay. So we are going, I think it's quite a ways up there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. It is a distance up there. I don't know. So wait, we are where? We're here. We got to go way up here. That is a long trek. Not too bad. Not too bad. But we should have, what, three trips, I think? Because our contract should say 84% done. And then I thought you only had to do like somewhere between 60 and 70 percent of the uh, crop that you harvested off the field is what you have to turn in to complete the contract i mean i don't know if that changed during the update or not but that's kind that's the way it was right around the figures i'm you know gray area around though dump i definitely think it'll take all of this one goes 10 grand left so that is 39 so it's going to take a little more well i don't know it depends on how much one more truckload is going to give us almost 80 percent we will see i guess we'll kind of figure it out here now we shall see how much this takes i'm going to kind of sneak up on it I know it's going to take at least, what, at least 30,000 liters, a minimum of that. So if we can stop it right around the 20,000. Ah, no. No, stop it. Stop. Well, that didn't work. I, I couldn't get the dang thing to stop. Like, stop it. Well, okay, so we made a few a few bucks on it as well, which is all right. 
So the contract should be complete. Hopefully we can still go grab the rest of that wheat. And if we do, I mean, I think, well, how much do we should we have? Don't we have like 20 some thousand liters left? We can figure that out. And 36,000 liters is what we have left. That is gonna help our flower production tremendously. So that's what I wanna do is I'm gonna go to grab the wheat and then we are gonna take it to our flour mill. That will be the most we've had in there. And then we have two additional wheat fields as well. Uh, let's not crash. Oh, now your turn. And then we have two barley fields. So wait, let's take a quick look here. So we, ooh, that was a little, little dra frame droppage right there for whatever reason. Uh, I did finally get my RAM in, but uh, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference. So we have field 50, 47, and 41 are all wheat. We are going to have flour coming out our kazoo here. And then we have 45, 46, which is barley. That is all for the flour mill as well. Wow. So we should have plenty of flour. Now, I know that they uh, made the pallets for lettuce and tomatoes and stuff hold more. I do not know if they did the same thing for flour or not. I would assume they would have, but I guess we will find out. I think what I'm going to do is just send the worker actually i just sent the worker to the wrong darn spot to be honest so let's try that again that is not where the worker goes the worker goes over here i was sending them back to the cell point oh i messed that up there we go that should be perfect right there okay so you gonna go sometimes i don't trust them i've sent them on their way and then they just sit there Kinda, there we go. Good job, bud. Okay, so we need, we need a bale picker upper here. This is, I mean, one of my favorite bale loaders. It holds a lot of bales, it's still mechanical. I, I really like this one. Better than the, the, just the flatbed auto loads. Those are nice, don't get me wrong. They work really, really well. But this one, I, I like the uh, animation in it. It's all more mechanical and stuff. It's a little bit more effort, but I think it's... Oh, I just threw the little... The first little one? Is that what I just threw in there? No, that looks like the first little one. It won't take it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let go. I don't know if we can get a different one in there with that there or not. Uh, how about... Oh, yeah, there we go. Let the machine sort it out. I don't think we're going to be able to get... Can we still get 24 of these bales on here? That's quite impressive. These are, what, 10,000 liters each? Or was that 11,000? Here, hold on. Let's see. And 11,000 liters of straw. Wow, that is going to be a lot of straw. Now, I'm not going to do a speedy or anything here. I think I'll just go through and pick these guys up. But I'm trying to decide what all we want to get done. Really, the rest, what I want to get done is I want to get these sold, get our contract paid for. And I don't know if we're going to have time to do windrowing or not. But I know we're not going to be making silage bales today. We've got it mowed up. That was uh, the biggie. So maybe we'll be able to put a worker on there and get it windrowed. We will just have to see. Either way, I think we've done quite well today. Don't get me wrong. We have spent way more money than we have made. But it has set us up for success, I am hoping. But we got three more bales to go. Now, does anybody have uh, a guess as to how many bales we made? I mean, it looks it looks like we did pretty good. Not many more up there, but uh, we got definitely have a few over there down at that end of the field. 
I think what this is our last fail and grab it Wait. so are we going to the animal dealer straw where art thou straw all right there it is so 154 is still at the south valley biomass energy all right where oh where how come i cannot my mouse does not oh uh i can't see my mouse <laughs> so i guess we'll go there let's uh let's tag that and now we can see where we're going. Have I been to the biomass before? I don't know that I have, to be honest. Where are you? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Well, hot diggity, that is not far at all. We've been there. I didn't realize it was the biomass, but... Hold that guy up. Come on, John Deere, you can do it. So let's see how much we get out of a trailer full of this. I want to see. I want to watch. Stop it. Man, that was difficult. Yes, unload here. Keep taking them. Well, there's 24,000, 5,000. We've got 20. Really? Can you just take a ball? I don't want to sit here and do math. Jeez, 34, 39. So about $40,000, roughly. Not bad at all for straw. And we have at least one more trailer plum full then at least a partial so we're gonna have two full and maybe a partial well i guess here let's find out uh it tells us somewhere in here how many bales that we made bales produced 113 wow wait that's total it doesn't say that we produced any in this in this episode so that that is not that's not really going to uh that's not going to help us i know i didn't do 117 or 113 whatever that number was we did not get that many out of this one so i guess we'll know when we've got them all over here let's dump load number two let's get these things out of here maybe it'll do a little quicker for us go Go, go, come on, keep going, keep going. I hate that. Why do you do that to me? I don't want to do math. Same thing as it did last time. I've got to say, we made a considerable amount of money. We only got like 14 grand for the contract itself. And we've made like sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 just from the straw. I've got uh, four bales left up here, plus the little bale. So I guess a total of five, but the first one is just about half of what the others are. I think it's about a 5,000 liter bale. Then these are 11. Yeah, I think we did. I think we did just fine on this contract. Now we could also collect. Wow, I did. I just glanced at my money. We're already, we're at about 140 grand. So we will be able to pay back some of our loan anyway. Now I sent the worker up to deliver the uh, wheat at the flour mill. Well, they should be there. Hold on, let's see. Let's pull in here and we'll tab, tab. There we are. We'll go ahead and get this dumped. So the pallets look the same on the flower. We'll swing around there and we'll kind of take a quick look at them and see, see what's what. Yo, that'll get the flower mill rocking and rolling again. So how many liters are in this? A thousand liters. So what? We've got six thousand. Oh, seven thousand liters. All right. 
and flour it processes quite quickly so i'm just hoping it keeps rocking until we can get our other wheat fields done uh i do not i don't need this one anymore right let's go here and contract is complete select there we go and i there's no others what is that sunflowers nah i'm not interested we're good so we are at 152 with a few more bales to pick up so the it'll take these but the little one over there will have to throw on van oh i lost a bale get back here come on i don't know where you think you're going but get your butt you are animal feed or animal bedding get in oh why does it do that all right that should wait did i just tell that to oh no we're unloading here we go now if my math is correct we have made whoa what in the world was that i don't think it liked that little baby bale okay go ahead and dump them 160,000 very nice so we have made over a hundred thousand dollars off of that contract if i am not mistaken because we made a ridiculous amount on the straw it was like 70 80 thousand then we made 12 grand on the contract itself plus another five thousand on the extra uh wheat that we sold by accident and that's not even counting the flour, the money from the flour we're gonna get. So we came out smelling like a rogue. All right, so let's do this and stop that. Let's go ahead, zoom in here. Hey, I wanna set destination. Go there and there. Is it gonna go? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, glitch. Okay. Well, on the right side of the road, he's already better than I am. <laughs> okay. Since they're on their way, let's go down here to money. What do we got? 270. Okay. So we are going to repay. There we go. We repaid $100,000. Not bad. I mean, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. So we borrowed 100 or 70 grand really as a total today. Not bad. And we bought ourselves a new field that was already planted. Let's see, let's go up here. And I think, I don't think it's bigger than field 41 as far as hectare size goes, but it's still a nice addition to the farm. Everything is looking good, right? Everything's fertilized. 41 will need another coat. 48, 49. So in the next episode, we will be uh, bailing that up, getting those wrapped so we can get those sold. We should be harvesting 47, 44, and we will definitely be putting up a storage shed in 44 in the next episode. But I think overall, I think we had an outstanding day. Contract paid off big for sure i did not expect to be making that much i thought we would make you know maybe 30 double what it said 30,000 40,000 but we we did outstanding so hey i want to thank you all for tuning in uh let me know what you think let me know if you liked it you didn't like it you know thumbs up thumbs down subscribe like all of that good stuff be good everyone and until next time see ya